uh, I've been uh, very careful that I don't treat somebody else's film with the same negligence that I treat mine. And uh, indeed, it's a very different kettle of fish altogether to produce a film than to direct a film. I've produced all my, most of my own films till date, but that's necessity. But this time, the decision to produce Titli was out of choice and out of certain compulsions, which we'll talk about if those questions ever come up. And uh, that's about it. I'm very happy to talk about a film which I'm not directing, so I can be shameless plugging it. And uh, I would like to call first Kanu Behel, uh, the director of the film. And he will talk to you a bit about his film, and then he will take it on from there. And while I'm calling, uh, after, while I'm calling Kanu here on the stage, I would also like to call Gunit Monga of uh, Sekhya Entertainment, uh, who's a very important part of Titli's presence in Cannes, and she will be talking about it. And uh, she is a person who probably also does not need any introduction to film business watchers, and she's one of the pioneers who've made roadways into Cannes with Indian films. And a lot of the international distributors and marketers all over the world today equate Gunit with a prospector of gems who will take gems from India and present it to the international audience. So more about that later. I'll give the mic to Kanu. He'll talk about the film, and then maybe you'll get a glimpse of the trailer. So yeah, uh, just quickly about the film. Uh, it's a film. It's a film about a, a guy called Titli. It's a film about three brothers and a father, uh, and a young girl who comes into the house. Um, it's about this young boy's journey of wanting to escape from this uh, violent, oppressive brother, and uh, what he does on that journey. He plots, plans, lies, cheats, does all sorts of things um, to get out of this house and these uh, get away from these people that he hates. But uh, on that journey, slowly, he starts becoming exactly like uh, the people he hated most. And it's about what he does with that realization as it hits him. Um, it's about fam family, it's about patriarchy, um, and it's about these five people. So I think, yeah, um, let's, let's get a look at the trailer. Towards your right. Your protagonist is a male, right? Yeah. So why Titli? Oh, <laughs> I have no idea, actually. I've been asked this question a couple of times now. Uh, there's, uh, in retrospect, so, so the honest answer is uh, it's not thought of. It's not something that we actively thought of. Uh, but in retrospect, since I've been asked this question a couple of times, um, uh, it's a film about patriarchy. It's a film about how men behave with women. And there's this young boy who's trying to break away from these patterns uh, that, that he feels run within the family. So I think just a slightly feminine name uh, probably just instinctively uh, made us uh, feel, uh, fit the character well, me and my co-writer, uh, Sharath. Uh, the other slightly funny reason is that I'm called Kanu. So a lot of, lot of my friends have said that, you know, maybe that's why his name is Titli, because I have a slightly feminine name. So maybe that's the reason. Dibakar, why did you choose to be the producer? Um, I, uh, it's, uh, I really don't know because, um, quite frankly, um, it's task enough for me to kind of produce my own films. That takes all my life and all my strength. I mean, at night I come back home drained from the experience of producing and directing my own film. Uh, but Kanu was very clear. We were working together from Oi Lucky. Then he co-wrote Love, Sex, or Dhoka with me. And after that, it was a kind of an unwritten thing on the wall that when Kanu's first film comes up, I would produce it. Though I am not the kind of uh, director, producer, who goes on to produce a lot of films for the people who worked with him. I am not. Uh, Anurag is, 
uh, and and uh, Vishal is, uh, I have enough of issues with my own films, and I can't really handle too many films. Uh, so, so when Kanu came to me with his supposedly first film script, and we both sat down on it, we kind of knew that we would be doing it. Uh, and but that script, we decided that we would not. And then Kanu went back. He was supposed to assist me on Shanghai, but he did not. He went back and wrote another thing and came back to me with Tithli. And that is when I, when I read the first draft of Tithli, uh, 